I'm going to use multiple techniques today to try to um, replicate an image I have in my mind. Let's see how, how close I get. Uh, I love the variations when you do decide to do something like this where you're going to use a medium and you can't quite control to make a scene that is a very controlled image. So we'll see how we do using this medium. So I've got two different uh, cups here where I'm going to do dirty pours. I'm going to, with uh, no silicone in these, by the way. This, ooh, this one's thick. This one's going to be blues. Possible. I might have to thin this one out a little bit. I just put it together. Going back to that, uh, the blue I started with, but I'm going to add a little more water to it because I think it's a little thick. It should actually make for an interesting variation to have the same color, slightly different consistencies. And if you're wondering what the scraping noise in the, is in the background, my cat is playing with something on the desk. It's his cue that he would very much like me to stop what I'm doing and play with him, but we're going to finish this before I do that. There we go. Let's give significantly more there. That still is kind of thick, but better than it was. This color has a habit of popping up really strongly in things I do, and I want the greens to be in there a bit more subdued, so I'm going heavy on the blues. do this silver. Sometimes silver will take over um, if you use too much. And then this is an old bit here that I'm just trying to get rid of the paint. <laughs> and it uh, it works with this, so I'm using the rest of this in here. It's just a, a lovely light blue. And I'm going to leave these drips because they're actually in a good spot for this color. And that's going to be the end of that. All right, so that's blue, and I'm just going to let that sit there. And I'm going to move to this other cup now. And uh, this one's going to be more browns and yellows. And um, I have um, one color I'm looking to uh, finish up one as well. Just like the blue in the end of that. This is the one I want to try to use up. This one's very monochromatic, so I'm curious as to how it's going to come out. Not quite finished yet, it gets a few more colors. Let's let this one drip upside down a little bit with the lid on. I have a feeling this one's going to be thick. Somehow, always when I do yellow, it comes out kind of thick. So I'm actually going to follow that then with one that seemed to come out a little thin. This is a dark. Ooh. Look at how that bubbled up. I love when it does that, when you can use a, a container like that. All right. So there are my, the beginning of my two. None of, the, none of these have silicone in them. None of them. So the little cells that you see coming up here, you can see some small ones. And this is still stirred up from, you know, the script. You can see little cells forming in there as well. I'm going to actually leave these sit for a couple minutes. All right. Just make sure I get myself all straightened out here. I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to do a combination of things here. So I think I'm going to pour this a little bit. Kind of in ribbons. Starting about a third of the way up. And just...
This is just some of the plain. I think this is the the neon blue is the name of the color. I'm uh, just going to dribble into some of these places here. have the the dark blue still here the navy blue and I'm gonna give that in some of these places where it's light just a little here and there and the further out I think the more dark it should be Oh yeah, if you were watching this and expecting me not to go like all out with the paint, yeah, um, this is an all out with the paint painting. Okay, now I'm gonna... Oh, you can see the, uh, the slight different consistencies in the paint when you do this. Which is something I actually really like, but I don't want to mess with this too, too much. I just kind of want to fill those empty spaces in, in the kind of top two thirds. And I want to get a few more swirls in the underneath. Um, okay, yeah, I like that. And that's just our starting point. Now we're going to go for the... Uh, for this concoction, <laughs> this concoction, and I'm going to go and do basically the same thing I did above here. interesting. I think I want to go back this way a little bit before I start with anything. Yeah. All right, let's see what I can do with this. Now I have some plans here. I'm going to start with the top one I think which uh, I'm going to do a couple of things with. This is a metallic blue. It has silicone in it. Um, and I'm going to come up here and do this. This. And this. And then this is white that has silicone in it. And I'm going to go here. I should do that a little heavier, actually. And here. And now I'm going to play. my sandbar. <laughs> I think I need to be switched to a smaller palette knife here.
And already I am, I'm really liking what that looks like there. So do you think I want to do a little bit of something here though? This side, I'm going to do something similar. Once again, what I have on here does not have any silicone in it. And I'm going to do two things with this. I'm going to go with this uh, bronze color. I'm going to do this very similar to the way I did the... Um, but obviously in the other direction. <clears throat> And then I'm going to do thin rivul or thin rivulet here kind of in the back end. I'll put a little more. There we go. Drag a little bit of this black up there, I think.
Ooh, I like that better. I'm liking the way this looks, of course. I think it's oh, well, great to go, Michelle. It's okay. It's actually not a difficult fix, and if you live in my world, you learn how to deal with difficult fixes. If I, it's still so wet, and this is kind of mixed, so I'll give another point here, like a river. Estuary. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> Serendipity. Now before I move it any, because I still definitely want to pick this up and give it a couple give it a tilt. Um I want to hit some of these spots where I know I can uh bring out like micro cells. Trying to be careful of the fact that my palette knives are sitting right there and are going to get covered with paint any minute, but you know, they're palette knives, so that's what they're for. Getting covered with paint. Oh, there we go. Down in the black, I'm going to get some nice microcells, it seems. butane in my lighter so I'm kind of uh going down very little at the moment which is why this is taking so much longer yeah, I definitely re need to fill this okay I'm gonna have to refill that before I keep going but I want to tilt this um, before I do anything else because I think this is in its good enough state. I'm tilting it actually away from the camera. Sorry about that. I can to get the most of it in there. And this is how I kind of wanted to do that. And then I want to tilt it back a little. And I'm going to refill my butane uh, torch and be right back. All right, torch filled. Let's get back in here again because uh, I think a few more hits with a torch that actually has some fuel will bring up some of the little cells that I wanted down here even better now that I've uh, stretched a little bit. I want some tiny ones in here in addition to the larger, more subtle ones. I love how some of this is mixed together. This is kind of exactly what I wanted it to do at the border of the two cups. That's it. I really like it. 
I'm gonna leave that as it is. I might put together a uh, flip cup of any remnants I had. I'm just gonna start doing that right now. And let all that thing, them all drip into one cup. And maybe I'll have enough to do an eight by 10 later. But I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's dry.